Doubling and halving. Using strategies to double or half a decimal number. What are they? Double is multiplying by two or having two of the same something. Half is dividing by two. Why? To learn different methods to attack a problem. Interesting fact. Centipedes have an odd number of pairs of legs. Therefore, there are no recorded cases of centipedes with 100 legs. So let's take a head, go ahead and um, take a look at the steps in order to do this. Step one, double or half the number to the left of the decimal point. And step two, double or half the number to the right of the decimal point. So now we're going to go ahead and get started by separating it into two sections. We're going to go ahead and double four by adding four to itself and you get eight. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at two tenths and double it by adding it to itself. And you get four tenths. Now we're going to go ahead and combine them. And you get 8.4 as your answer. Now let's take a look at example two. We're still going to follow the same steps even though it looks a little different. Separate them. We're going to double 44 to get 88. Now we're going to add seven tenths to itself to get 1.4. Now why is it 1.4? Because, let's take a look at the side bit, 7 tenths is equal to 70 hundredths, or which is equal to 70 cents. Now if we double uh, 70 cents, it did not equal 14 cents. Double 70 cents is equal to 140 cents, which is the same as 1.40, which is the same as 1.4. Now we're going to go ahead and combine the two numbers together, and then you get 89.4 as your answer. So let's take a look at example three. This time we're having two digits in your decimal. So we're gonna go ahead and separate them. Once again, we're still following the same steps. Double 32 by adding it to itself and you get 64. Now we're gonna add 4300 to itself to get 8600. Combine the numbers and you get 64 and 8600 as your answer. This is the last example for doubling. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We have 54 and 7200 separate them, add 54 to itself to get 108. We're going to add 72 hundredths to itself to get 1.44. Now let's take a look at that side bit. So we have 0 0.72 is equal to 72 cents. Double 72 cents is 144 cents, which is equal to 1.44. Now we combine them and your final answer is 109 and 44 hundredths. Now let's take a look at having or, or, or taking half of a number. So what is half of 6.8? Once again, we follow the steps, separate them, divide six by two to get three. Now we divide eight tenths, divided by two, which gives me four tenths, combine them, and you get 3.4. Now let's take a look at this one. Example two, half of 7.6. So we're gonna again separate them, take half of seven, and this time we have a remainder, so we have three remainder one. Now we're gonna go ahead and half 0 0.6, but wait a second, we have a remainder. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and then add that remainder to the six tenths to get 1.6. Then we can go ahead and divide by two, which gives me eight tenths. Combine the numbers to get 3.8, and that is your answer. Now let's take a look at example three. What is half of 22.7? So we're going to go ahead and add, this is kind of a special case, yeah, so that the digit to the right of the decimal is odd, add a zero. It's easier to divide that number in half. So when we add that zero, we haven't changed the number at all. All we did was make it easier for, uh, for you to divide by, by two. So uh, you'll see why in a few seconds. So we're going to separate them, divide it 22 by two, which gives me 11. And then we take 70 hundredths divided by 2, which is easier, 70 divided by 2 or 7 divided by 2, okay? When you're talking with it, and, and so we don't get a remainder, it would be easier if you add the 0, and it gives you 35 hundredths. Combine them, and that is your answer, answer 11.35. Now let's take a look at this example, um, and we're going to go ahead and separate them. Divide 10 by 2, which gives me 5. And then now we're going to go ahead and divide 1800 divided by 2, which gives me 0 0.09. Now why is it 0 0.09? Okay, take a look at that side bit. So if we have 0 0.18 or 0 0.18, and that equals 18 cents. 
half of 18 cents is 9 cents. And 9 cents is equal to 0 0.09, not 0 0.9. And because 0 0.9 is equal to 0 0.90, which is equal to 90 cents. So now we know why 0 0.18 divided by 2 is 0 0.09. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put them together. And that is your answer, 5 and 0 0.9. Now let's take a look on another reason why it is 5.09. So if we, when, you do, when you take half of the number, okay, so if we're going to go backwards to check, and if we double the answer, and if you add it to itself like what we did in the previous sections of, of doubling it, then we can see that on the right side, 5.09 added to itself gives you 10.18. And then 5.9 added to itself gives you 11.8. So this is another reason why when you, you have to be careful with numbers below uh, uh, 20 when you're dividing by 2 and you need that and you need those two decimal places Okay, so now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video uh, So you can take your time to answer these questions and I will show you the answers in three two and one Here are the answers if you got them correct. Well done. If you didn't there is always tomorrow